Vision Forward's In Focus team presents. Hi, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward. Welcome to another In Focus deep dive. In this deep dive, we're going to be taking a look at some of the accessibility options built into Windows 10 for people with low vision. Recently, with the latest uh, Windows 10 update, or one of the latest ones, there were some new accessibility options uh, in, which were introduced and they are well worth checking out. So let's go ahead and check them out. So first of all, we want to get to our ease of access uh, settings menu. And in order to do that, we can go to the main settings menu first. So let's go ahead and press our Windows key. That will open our start menu and on the left hand side we have a few different icons including the power icon and up from that a cog wheel which is the settings icon let's go across to there and we're going to click on settings here and this will take us to our settings now what we'll probably see is the main settings menu with all the different kind of places that we can go to change settings we want ease of access, which is on the right hand side and is the second option down. So we're going to go down to ease of access and click on that. And now we have opened up the ease of access settings menu where all of the accessibility settings are, including the ones for vision. On the left hand side, we have a colored bar and the colored bar has the different accessibility options inside it. And uh, there is a subheading called vision Underneath there, we will see the different things that we can change to make our computer more visually accessible. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first of those, which is display. And that's the one we currently have up here on the right hand side. These are the different things we can do to the display to make it easier to see. And the first thing we see is make text bigger and a slider. So we can make text bigger across Windows 10 and across actually Windows applications. And so we can change the size of the text in the menus, but also within programs such as Microsoft Word, uh, Outlook, PowerPoint, and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at that. Currently, we have our settings set to regular size, 100% uh, the normal size. Now, let's take a look at Microsoft Word here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And the uh, the options across the, the top here, um, those are just the normal size at the moment. But we want to make those larger. So we're going to go across to our display settings again. And we're going to drag this slider to the right. Let's set it to 146%. We'll hit the apply button. What's going to happen, it will make not only the words in the menus larger, but if we switch back across to our Microsoft Word documents now, it's going to make these words across the top larger as well. And so know that now those are a lot larger and easier to see than they were before. So this is a really neat option for making any of these uh, windows within uh, Windows 10, or at least any of the settings and the Windows 10 programs more accessible. Let's move down and see what else we have here. We have make everything uh, bigger. So this just kind of applies magnification across the whole board. We can select between 100 or 125%. The trouble with uh, choosing a, anything larger than 100% is it can mess up the way that certain windows display. And so I would use that uh, tentatively if I were you. Further down from there, we can make everything brighter. So obviously just changing the brightness of our display, making it either dimmer or brighter. And then there's some other options to kind of simplify the way that Windows displays visually by changing whether animations are shown and things like that. For the moment, let's move to the next option on the left hand side. So underneath our vision accessibility subheading, we next have cursor and pointer. And we can go here to change our cursor and pointer, funnily enough. And uh, this is something that I've been wanting in Windows for a long time, the ability to easily change our mouse pointer. So we have a slider here. Let's slide it to the right and our mouse pointer will get larger and larger. And obviously to the left, it will get smaller and smaller. Super easy. And let's just go to the top end because you will see it's extremely large on the top end. And uh, that's uh, super useful. Underneath there, we're able to change the color of the mouse pointer. And so we can choose a high contrast white with a black, uh, thick black border, high contrast black with a white border. 
we can have a pointer that changes color depending on what the background is. So on a light background, it will be uh, black. And on a dark background, if I move it to the, to the taskbar here, it will turn a lighter color. And finally, if we click on the last box, we can actually choose the color that we want the mouse pointer to be. There are some suggested colors that we can ch change in between. But also underneath there, if we click on the plus, we're able to choose our own custom color. And uh, yep, this is really cool. It enables us to uh, make the pointer work for us, whatever our vision is like. Another option underneath there is the ability to make the cursor easier to see. And the cursor is the flashing line that we see when we're typing. So let's go ahead and set that to the maximum thickness. And we'll go to our Word document again. And you can see a large black flashing block there. That's our cursor. Um, so super large and hopefully easy to see. Let's switch back again. We will make that thinner again. And let's go to about level three. And we'll switch back over. Now that flashing line is a lot thinner. Um, so again, we can adjust things for the way that we need them. The next bit underneath there is just if we have a touch screen, we can change the way that um, it, it displays when we touch on the screen. This is not a touch screen computer, so we'll leave that for the moment. We're going to go back to the vision submenu on the left and look at the magnifier. Windows magnifier has been around for a long time, uh, but it's really got quite good recently and it will allow us to zoom in on anything. Now, we've been looking at various magnification options, but the things that we've been looking at affect Windows and Microsoft programs, but not other programs which we might be using on our computer. And so the magnifier is really useful because it allows us to magnify everything on the computer. So we can change certain things in this menu, like where the magnifier starts when we sign in, um, whether it's collapsed when it starts and whether we have smoothing of edges and images and text. I would suggest leaving that turned on. Generally makes things look better when we magnify. And it also allows us, allows us to um, change whether colors are inverted when we magnify and turn on the magnifier. Now, I would suggest actually memorizing the keyboard shortcut to turn on and off the magnifier because it is much more convenient. If we hold down the Windows key, uh, while it's being held down, every time we press the plus key, we will zoom in. So the first time we press the plus key, we will turn on the magnifier, which I've just done. And then after that, every time we press it, it will zoom in. And if we press the minus, then it will zoom out. So we have windows and plus to zoom in, windows and minus to zoom out. And we currently have it in full screen magnification. So everything on the screen is magnified. Now, when we do that, we reduce the amount on the screen that we can see. And so what we have to do is move our mouse around to the left to pan left, upward to pan upward, downward to pan downward. If you don't like that, you can change the way the magnifier works. So there is a views option in the magnifier control bar that opens when we turn on the magnifier. If we click there, then we can choose from different ways that the magnifier displays. We're going to click on the lens view and the lens view now is almost like moving a magnifying glass over the lens. So we get still an overview of the full lens, but wherever we move the mouse, this magnifying glass will move uh, with it. And we can still use our windows and plus to zoom in and make things inside that magnifying glass larger, windows and minus to zoom out, of course. We can also, in, uh, in the ease of access settings here, we can change the shape and the size of that magnifying lens. So we have sliders for horizontal and vertical adjustment, and we can change those to make the magnifying lens taller and wider or shorter and less wide, depending on what we need. So it's really quite flexible. And uh, it used to be that when you zoomed in, things got very fuzzy. These days, the Windows magnifier is a lot better and things tend to stay sharper. In the ease of access menu here, we can also check a box to invert colors inside the magnifier, or we can memorize the keyboard shortcut, which I would again recommend. Control, Alt, and the letter I. Everything inside the magnifying glass has been inverted. So instead of black, now we have uh, white, and instead of white, we have black. Let's go ahead and change that back again to regular. And to close the magnifier out, we can hold down the Windows key and just press Escape, and the magnifier will go. Very cool. Let's go over to our Vision submenu on the left again and choose the next option, Color Filters. 
and the color filters will change the way they uh, change the colors on the screen so it could be that we're color blind or it could be um, that too much white light causes fatigue or whatever um, we're able to change the color of things now again we can turn on the color filters here from this window but also we can again memorize the keyboard shortcut windows control and the letter c at the moment i have inverted colors turned on so all of the colors uh, have been inverted exactly like it sounds like there is also options here for grayscale for grayscale inverted and then we have some red green options and blue yellow options I think inverted is probably the most useful. Now it will invert the color of everything and so things can start to look a little bit strange, especially if you're looking at pictures or anything that's not black or white can start to look kind of weird. Luckily we can easily toggle this uh, on and off using control, the Windows key and C. And so it is easy for us to turn on the inverted colors when we need them and turn them off when we don't. However, as well as just these inverted colors, we also have some more intelligent color changes. And if we go over to our vision submenu on the left again, these are found under high contrast. Let's go ahead and go there. Now again, of course, there's a keyboard shortcut to turn on and off high contrast, or we can turn it on in the menu here and off. Um, but let's go ahead and use the keyboard shortcut Alt, Left, Shift and Print Screen. We will get a window asking if we want to turn on high contrast. I'm going to press enter. And now we've turned on the high contrast uh, black, which is a black background with white text. And it will change the color of everything in the windows uh, in Windows 10 and also change the color of Microsoft applications and uh, possibly some other applications as well. Let's have a look at our Word document as well. So our Word document is now a black document instead of white because we have the high contrast mode on. And if I start to type, let's type, hello, how are you? And the text is white. And so this is really nice. Generally, the less white light there is, the better, because white light can be quite fatiguing. Um, so the nice thing about the high contrast mode is it's intelligent. It keeps the regular color of things. So for example, the icons in the taskbar are still their normal colors. When we use the color invert mode, the color of those icons becomes strange because the color invert mode changes the color of everything. It inverts the color of everything. In the high contrast mode, it intelligently applies high contrast to uh, Microsoft programs, to the Windows uh, settings, and the Windows, you know, the, the text in the Windows uh, that's in Windows 10. And uh, it works a lot better in general. So everything is really sharp, really crisp and really good contrast. Well, thank you for watching this video on the uh, accessibility features for people who are low vision in Windows 10. I think you'll agree that Windows 10 has come on a long way in this regard. And I would highly recommend playing with some of these features. Uh, if you have a computer with Windows 10 connected to the internet, you should have the latest version of Windows 10. If you have you know, turned it on relatively recently in the last few months, should have automatically updated. And so you could check out some of those accessibility features. And of course, if you have any questions, you can get in touch. You can uh, call us at 414-615-0103. You can email infocus at vision forward Dot org, and you can visit our website vision-forward.org. We are still uh, monitoring our emails and our calls at the moment, so uh, please do feel free to get in touch. And please, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video. It all helps. We release new videos every Friday, so keep a lookout for those, and we will see you in the next video.